Hi there, this is Brian Oliva at Gethsemane Music. This is live stream number two, and it's a complete redo. Hopefully we got the technical bugs out, and we'll see what happens. So tonight we're going to do a few unusual things. First, in today's news, um, we're going to do a little uh, self-promotion. So uh, if I can get this part to work, there we go. Uh, if you're looking for us online, Gethsemane Music has a website, www.getsemanemusic.com. From there, you can see all our videos, sorted by category. And uh, but if you really want the latest, because this doesn't get updated daily, uh, you can go straight to our YouTube channel, which is also Gethsemane Music. Uh, if you like our stuff, please subscribe. We're at 478, pushing to get to 500, and eventually to 1,000. But uh, that's where we are today. We've made great progress this year. And I want to thank everybody that's uh, been supporting me so far. And uh, we'll try to keep doing that. But Gethsemane Music isn't just me. I do all the keyboard stuff. But uh, I do also support my son, who is a much better musician than I. Uh, his name is Michael Oliva, and uh, he's been the front man of his band, The Harlequins, in Cincinnati for over 10 years. Uh, the Harlequins website is theharlequinsmusic.com, and from there you can get to their Bandcamp page, uh, which has all their music and merch and all kinds of other goodies. If you're uh, interested in checking them out, uh, it's been a rough couple of years, so I'm sure they would all appreciate that. And uh, the other thing Michael's been doing is, uh, since the band hasn't been able to play on a regular basis over the past couple of years, uh, he's been working on a new skill set, and he's trying to get into uh, doing a lot of uh, scores for movies, that type of stuff. Uh, he's been working hard with the, the, with the uh, string uh, accompaniments that come with, uh, with Logic and uh, you know, BBC audio, uh, Spitfire audios, BBC stuff, and a whole lot of other stuff, and he's uh, been fairly successful doing that as well. So uh, you can check out that part of him on, at michaeloliva.com, and uh, yeah, that's where you can find all that stuff. So I'm going to give you a couple of quick examples. Uh, if we jump over to YouTube, um, I'm going to go to uh, a performance that the Harlequins did back in August, and uh, just to give you a feel for what his band sounds like. And uh, he's got an old song that they did uh, back in uh, 2009 called Schizo Radio. And uh, I'm missing the page here, so bear with me. Uh, let's see, where's the full play? Here we go. So uh, they played Fountain Square back in August. And uh, they did Schizo Radio Live. And uh, <laughs> that's what they sound like. There we go.
So that was the Harlequins live and in concert. And uh, a few days ago, Michael's most recent project was to uh, take that song and turn it into a string quartet. So we'll take a look at the alternate version. If I can find it here. him go for it because he's the working musician of the family I'm fully retired and do all this stuff for fun so uh, check him out if you need somebody to score a film for you look him up all right so if nothing else goes wrong uh, let me show you what I've been doing up in the studio lately I think my uh, I think my mouse battery has finally died, so hopefully I can use the pad here. Anyway, um, let me see if I can get the overhead going. 
There we are. All right. So this is my studio looking from the back. The uh, latest acquisition, which came in just after New Year's, is the uh, Boss RC505 Mark II Looper. So that's just been recently plugged into the whole system here, and I'm still trying to figure out how it all works. But uh, I've been playing around with it, and we found a few odds and ends, uh, which have been kind of interesting. So uh, I've figured out how to tie stuff together and do some of the special effects. But uh, mostly what I've been doing is uh, I did download a bunch of the uh, accompaniment things that are on the Boss website that you can load into it. And uh, basically tonight I'm just going to try playing a couple of them uh, and I haven't really listened too much to any of these and I've downloaded enough of them that I don't even know where they are anymore. So uh, I know they're somewhere in the middle of between banks 92 and 99 and uh, I'll pick a few at random and then see if I can't play something along with them. But I don't know what we're going to get. So that's tonight's show is total improv. Let's see what happens.
course, there is no way to stop these things, so that's one of my problems. But uh, let's see what else we got in this thing. still with us.
Okay. We'll try one, one or two more and then call it a day maybe, but we'll see what happens here. So anyway, that's what I've been doing uh, to stay out of trouble for the last uh, week or so, just uh, getting to learn this new 505. And uh, that's probably it for tonight. So anyway, hopefully we keep all the bugs out of this going forward. It's uh, a little tricky because uh, my setup is probably not conventional, but I just kind of make it up as I go along with everything else. Anyway. Thanks for everybody that tuned in. Uh, hopefully this gets posted and we'll be up for a little bit. And uh, If everything went as planned, I should have a captured copy of this as well. And uh, maybe I'll do a little editing and clean it up and repost it on YouTube. Uh, someday I'll get all the restreaming stuff figured out, but uh, one step at a time. Anyway, thanks for joining and uh, we'll call it a day. Uh, Good evening, good night, and good morning, depending on your location. We'll catch you later.